I came to Washington in the fall of 1935 and I taught a course that was advanced or perhaps you might want to say more than advanced had a dozen students and I may have been the youngest in the quantum mechanics and uh, understanding of structure of matter was a recent accomplishment in that time. And I was talking to these people about these recent advances at the George Washington University. All, or almost all, of the students were senior workers in the laboratories in and around Washington. Uh, there were a few from the Bureau of Standards, and there was Steve Bunau, who was then working in the laboratory, whose nickname was the Fixed Nitrogen Laboratory. That was, of course, in connection with the use of nitrogen fertilizers. But, in fact, was connected with all kinds of other problems of chemistry and also agriculture. I got to know Steve Brunauer quite well. The reason being that both of us were originally from Hungary. Now one day Steve Brunauer came with me with some very interesting information about adsorption. in which more than a single layer was adsorbed on the surface of a material, possibly a catalyst. The monolayer absorption, and in fact absorption of just a few molecules forming less than a monolayer, has been very beautifully explained by Irving Langmuir. But here we were dealing with absorption of more than one layer and the transition between the adsorption in a single layer and more than a single layer. Uh, Steve Brunauer showed me an explanation of this multilayer adsorption, which was based on forces between the surface and the adsorbing atoms acting at a considerable distance. And from what I knew, what was generally known by that time, on the interaction of molecules it was cl quite clear that this explanation could not hold. And Steve was quite ready to accept that negative statement, but he also insisted that here are data about the multilayer adsorption, which needed some explanation. I suggested that this should be done, precisely as Lenmuir has worked on the monolayer, on the single layer adsorption, with the only difference that the first layer would then adsorb the second layer. In other words, that the solid does not exert distant forces on the further layers, but that it would be the same kind of interaction repeated, not between the solid in the first layer, but now between the first layer and the second layer, and later between the second and third layer, and so on. 
And this program, we did start to carry out in a simple mathematical way. And uh, uh, Steve Brunner was very pleased with it, but he wanted to show it to the senior man in catalysis who was around, Emmett, and so the three of us got together. 